The next tool that I would recommend is you get a small telescope. And the, the one that's always best is to get the Dobsonian. Okay. And that is a that is not a, a manufacturer of a telescope. It is a style of telescope. And so it's great oh, for the cool. moon, it's great for Mars, and yeah. it's great for, you know, with that, now you're seeing the polar ice caps on Mars. You're seeing the bands across the surface of Jupiter. You're seeing these, you know, big craters on the moon. You just pull out the tel you pull out the Dobsonian and you just look at it. But because you've got it, it's relatively lightweight, you can pack it in the car, right? And now you're seeing galaxies, you're seeing nebulae, you're seeing wow. um, you're seeing star clusters, you're seeing globular star clusters, you're seeing the planets in in ways that you just can't see in the city. So there's a big list of all of the possible objects that you can see in the sky tonight. And then you just say, I want to see this, I want to see the, the Whirlpool Galaxy. And the telescope just goes and turns the Whirlpool Galaxy and then just starts building up images in real time of this galaxy that you can then look at on your phone and you can save it and you can share it and you can share it to Facebook and all this kind of stuff. 